What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. You're probably wondering what the heck's going on. Why are we here? The game crashed on me. I was in the middle of recording the next video. Uh, we have been playing for about like eight minutes. And I'm going to walk back to the bonfire so you guys can see uh, what's going on. So this is the road of sacrifices. We just came here. I also went ahead and actually used the undead bone shard, but that is now gone forever. It's not very exciting, but it basically gives you, uh, your essence flask gets a little bit stronger, gives it plus one. Uh, we found a soul, soul of an unknown traveler, and we've got this shriving stone, or shriving stone, which is a gem of infused titanite, also known as stark stone, and it will reverse a weapon infusion. Has the benefit of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the reinforcement level. Um, so that's pretty cool, I'm not really sure how that worked in previous souls games, or if you could even... Uh, reverse an infusion, get rid of it. Um, but it's cool that, that it's there now. And we also got one more Titanite Shard allowing us to upgrade the Flemberge uh, once we get an opportunity to go back to the the Blacksmith. Um, so that's all really nice. So these guys, it's kind of ruined now, but they're weird bird-like creatures, which I didn't actually suspect when I saw them. Uh, they look pretty weird, and then suddenly they start sprouting wings. But I'm sure we'll run into one in a second. Let's see. I think it was this way. Right. And then the path to the left actually had a message saying, Tough enemy ahead. Right, so I thought, I'm gonna go this way first, and that's when the game crashed. But here we are. So there's two types of these creatures. There's these little ones, and then there's like the magey ones. And they can spread poison. I don't know what else they do. Because I haven't really given them a chance to do much more. But yeah, they're pretty creepy. And this is the bird the bird type creature I was talking about. Is he going to fall down? He fell down. He's dead. See you later, buddy. You, you did a good job. Although not really, because you are dead, let's be honest. Alright. Oh, there's two more? Alright, I don't think the mage guy can actually hit us here. With his little poison tricks. Oh, b okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty gnarly combo they got there. Apparently they are immune to poison. Oh, there's one more? No, 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 no. I can't, like, I, one, two, I, sure, I can deal with that. Stop it. I fell down. Alright, hold up. Hold up. They have me surrounded. Alright, give me some space. Oh, that was a back snap? No way. Alright. Alright, one more. And he did give me some space. Oh, see you, buddy. Okay. There, that's what you get. Alright, that actually went a lot better than I expected it to go. And there's another one. So it could have been four and the mage guy. That's pretty nuts. That's right. Spread your wings. And die. Not fly. Die. So that's quality humor. Alright, die. What did I just say? That's what you get. An ember. Alright. So far, it's, it's not been too bad, but there's nothing here. We haven't seen that tough enemy over there yet. Well, I don't know what's going to be over there, but this looks like it's going to bring me even further. So I guess we're going to try and see what this tough enemy is all about then. Let's drink you. Alright, so the upgrade to the Estus Flask actually counts for both the normal one and the Ashen Estus Flask. Uh, so that's pretty helpful. Alright, let's do this. It's probably gonna be some weird, tough enemy ahead. Be wary of enemy. Oh, what? It's just a normal dude. Okay, he's, he's coming over here. Give me that axe. What is up with this person? Yeah, Alright, you've got a big knife, so what? 
Oh boy. Oh, that could have messed me up real bad. No! Oh my god. That's painful. Alright, I gotcha. That's a little bit of poison. So basically, you know, don't get let your stamina run out. This person will mess you up real good. That's what you get. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? Did you just like sharpen your blade or something? I didn't know there was items for that. I wonder if they actually brought those back from Demon Souls. Well, that wasn't too bad. Butcher knife. Hey, we actually got the weapon. Oh, we need 24 A scaling and strength. That is impressive. But we need 24 strength to actually use this. Butcher's knife with an oddly large blade wielded by the mad woman haunting the road of sacrifices. So that was a woman. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Back in the undead settlement, the woman acquired a taste for human flesh of which she took glee in partaking. Skills sharpen. Sharpening the blade increases HP restored with each successful hit. That's... That is insane. Now I kind of wish that we had strength instead of dexterity because this is like by far one of the best weapons I've seen yet. Alright. Oh, the brigand armor. Alright. Leather armor from a foreign land. Probably belonged to a brigand who met his match. In foreign lands, undead were banished to send a message to populace, and when the message was not heard, they banished the living too. We also found the cleric armor, I guess, earlier. But we didn't read this yet. Garb worn by a cleric turned undead. Unmistakably, unmistakable vibrant blue robes. It is said that the blue robe travelers were entrusted with a duty. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure they would not become seed beds for spreading darkness. Hat worn by a cleric turned on dead, typical attire for blue robe travelers, said they were entrusted with a duty, still its nature is yet to be revealed. Hood from a foreign land, it's just the same. Uh, story. That actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, look at those, those are pretty nice gloves, alright. Bring in trousers, trousers from a foreign land. Those are, actually, yeah, they, those do look pretty cool. I don't really like the armor, though. I feel like it's too naked. But usually it's pretty good stuff. All right, so... I think I'm going to go with the... That looks weird, though. That just looks weird with those pants. Yeah, let's go with a bit of magic uh, protection here and there. Will this look ridiculous? This does look kind of stupid. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can pull that off. That just looks dumb. Let's be honest. It just looks dumb. All right, here we go. Spouse ahead. Time for thrust. Okay, it's a... Okay, yeah, it's a joke, but why is it here? Brigand Twin Deggers. These paired deggers are the preferred weapons of the brigands of a distant land. When two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand, allowing for divergent attacks that include left-handed moves. The skill's quick step, instantly step behind or around the side of foes, especially effective when locked onto a target. Interesting. We haven't seen that before. We also found that axe, uh, here it is. Axe favored by brigands of a distant land. Surprisingly sturdy battle axe that requires more strength to wield than a standard axe. Yes, it does. It's pretty cool too, I like it. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna use it, but it, that's cool, you know? I'm not using those daggers either, and this is gonna get me destroyed, I'm pretty sure. Although we could probably test them out at some point, see what they're like, but... You know, it's probably not going to go very well for me. I've never really liked dual wielding in, um, in Dark Souls 2 either. 
Wait, how do I get there? Ah. How do we... I see a ledge there. Will this work? Or will this get me murdered? Let's just give it a go. Oh boy. Well, that worked. Well, would you look at that? Oh, that's a dog? And a bunch of items. Be wary of left, yeah. No shit, there's a dog there. All right, let's do his doggy. Can't fall down, that's gonna be... Oh, dude, it's not even a, a, an actual normal dog. Oh, it is. Die. What? Did he just fall, like, through the world? Yeah, you almost, you almost got me. You almost got me. All right, what's in here? Morn's ring. Bright divine tome of Karim. Or it's, I think it's pronounced Braille, isn't it? In English. Learn high miracles of Karim. A sacred Braille tome from Karim filled with advanced miracles. Give to a storyteller to learn advanced Karim miracles. In the way of white, there is a tradition of placing great faith in the words of the blind. And these tomes are not unusual. That's pretty cool. And then we also found that ring. Let's see if that's any good. A malformed ring given to Knights of Kareem boosts miracles. Morn served the goddess Katha and later became an apostle of the Archbishop. They labored together to provide comfort to the suffering. I'm wearing this. Hell yeah. So how are we supposed to get out now? Oh, right. Here we go. Man, that's some good stuff right there. It was totally worth it to go there. There's nothing else here. Alright, there we go. Only downside right now is that we're kind of low on road of sacrifices again. We're kind of low on healing. Oh, there's some dudes. Oh, there's a bonfire. There's some messages in front of them. I think they're not hostile. No, they're not. All right. Spouse ahead. <laughs> Fatty ahead. All right, that's pretty funny. This one's wearing the uh, elite knight armor. Oh, hello. How do you do? I'm Anri of Astora. Unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and traveling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of Lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Oh, yes. Horace. He's not very talkative. But don't think ill of him. He is an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. A fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron. Farron Keep. All right. The next time, may the flames... So he was talking about several locations. He said, Farron Keep, Crucifixion Woods, and the Cathedral of the we are well along beyond the flooded woods Deep. We, the next All right, so who are you, buddy? Oh, Blue Sentinels. So I guess he just literally doesn't speak. All right. Faded sheepskin parchment depicting the dark moon and a sword. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Blue Sentinel's Covenant. When a member of the Way of Blue is threatened by a dark spirit, the Blue Sentinels, in compliance with an ancient accord, assume the form of Blue Spirits and help to root out the invader. 
So it's basically the same as in the, uh... I think it's just Dark Souls 2 that had the blue sentinels, or... Because that's where you had the wave of blue as well. Alright, so... Basically, wave blue is for people that are sort of new to the game, and then the blue sentinels is for people that want to help them out. I guess we could try equipping this and see what happens. Alright, so... Found the next bonfire. Halfway Fortress. Okay. Alrighty, so let's head back to the shrine. Actually, um, upgrade the Flamberge. Because it could certainly do with a nice little upgrade. And I'm pretty sure we don't have... Wait, who's that? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I doubt we've much to gain from fra blessing of the moon. I don't know what that means, but apparently she blesses the moon instead of the sun. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher less than I thought. You can make better use of this. Ooh, he's giving me something. Heavy gem. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> the undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead. Sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss, the legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> this guy is the most ominous laugh ever. Alright, so... Praise the gesture. Oh, no way. She actually... Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, we need a lot more souls if we actually want to um, level up again. I don't think we actually have enough soul items to get there. Unless we sell something, but I don't think we really have anything that we want to sell. Ah, tis good, wasn't it? Yes, please reinforce my beautiful flamberge. Yeah, so the scaling isn't that great, but hopefully uh, once I infuse it, it'll be a lot better. I hope so, because if that's not the case, then we might be better off actually infusing... Uh, things like the the spear or maybe even the scythe, but for now it's definitely the best weapon available. All right, there you go. I mean that's good damage. That's like close to 200. I just feel like when we infuse it, it's gonna be a lot better. Here, if we refine it, it's gonna be better. So we're gonna have D in both strength and dexterity, but hopefully that'll that'll improve. Be careful. I don't All right, let's just talk to everybody. Oh, Grey Rat's still gone. Uh, that was the... Oh, right, the Pyromancer guy. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> Welcome. All right. To learn pyromancers, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> okay. Do not be gone for long. So all that guy talks about is pyromancy, which we can't even use. Or barely. Let's see, though. We got Yol. 
on this side. Let's see if he wants to give me more free levels. That'd be cool. Hey, buddy. Oh, a champion of Ash. I would do anything for. Hey, he likes me. All right. Still just selling things. As I have said. Stop I it with the sorcery talk. We <laughs> I know it by now. God, man. All right. Then we spoke with the this guy. Uh, we still could speak with uh, Ludlith. See if he's got any news. Whoa. Well, hasn't it been some time? Oh, he gave us those orbs. I'm Leonard, the ring finger. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I, I haven't done anything. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked. Then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. Lift chamber key. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> yeah, we haven't actually used a single one of those red eye crack crack red eye orbs. And now he's given us the lift chamber key. Key to the room of the lift that descends to the deepest dungeon in Lotharic. A surviving dark wraith from the land swallowed by darkness is said to be held there. So it's like in Lotharic? Alright, what's up, dude? Aha, thou returned. Axel, knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. I think he said that before, but... No, I don't know anymore. Wait a minute. Soul of a demon. This great axe, a favorite among demons, contains the strength of fire. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be. A de de demon's fist, a demonic fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can release this power through use of its skill. When two-handed, fists are equipped to each hand. That sounds amazing. Flame Whirlwind. And it skills with intelligence and faith as well. That's weird. But we don't have the soul of a demon. Do not be away. I don't even know where I would go to, to actually get that. Alright, and then we have the miracle lady over here. I failed. What? Champion of Ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Yeah, the thing said something about the storyteller. Give divine tome. Yes, the tome oh, of Kareem. You've brought me a braille divine tome. Yeah, it's braille. Okay. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> oh, so now she has new miracles. Tears of the Nile. Grant one chance to endure when HP reaches zero. So I'm guessing that's automatically used or something? Taught by Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle. Intended to grant the dying a few moments for a final farewell. Tears are shed for the sake of the living, more so than the deceased. Uh, we also got Med Heal. Miracle superior to heal. Restores moderate HP for self and those in the vicinity. Miracles are fruit of the study of divine tales. A blessing received from the gods through acts of prayer. Miracle strength depends on the caster's faith. And we have Force. Elementary miracle among clerics. Creates a shockwave. While it inflicts no direct damage, this miracle propels foes back, staggering them. Can also defend against incoming arrows. That sounds really cool. 
Although I don't really see a use for this. Especially not when we only have two slots, so, but I'll remember it though. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, terribly sorry. But you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Have a pleasant, I pray. I didn't even realize that she was blind. I think I... I was asking about that earlier when she was in, in sitting in that cell in darkness and she said, Hey, I don't see anything. What's up? Please touch my hand. And I was thinking that that was kind of weird and I just sort of thought maybe that she was blind. But yeah, she is then. I doubt we've much to gain from the blessing of them. I don't know what your deal is. She doesn't want to talk to me and I, I don't know why. But I find it pretty hurtful, honestly. All right, halfway fortress. We're going back. That was good, though. We got we, we now have some new miracles that we could um, learn if we wanted to, especially that better version of the heal. Oh, they're gone. Well, where'd they go? But yeah, that better version of the heal. That sounds pretty good. We should probably pick that up as soon as we um, get a lot of souls. All right, let me just take a look real quick at where we are. Look at this. That's pretty cool. So we actually are in, in a bunch of woods now. So are these the crucifixion woods? Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, what are you doing? What's up with that massive stick you got there? Please don't do that. Thank you. Oh, I hope they can drop their weird sticks. That would be cool. Oh, you actually got me with that. Nice. Good for you, man. Oh, boy. This looks like a swamp-type area. This could be fun. All right. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for now. I'm just going to go back to the bonfire. And in the next video, um, we're going to go ahead and actually explore more of this area. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back soon with more Dark Souls 3.